So somebody bought something, bought something, and said, you know what, I don't really want to buy it, I want to rent it. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin, we're in the Commonwealth cabin and we're doing what we do in here. We're selling stuff and then we're going to ship it out. <laughs> and then I usually at the end of the night I take a few pictures because I go to school and I try squeezing a couple listings there. But I had something unique happen that really hasn't ever happened before. I joke about it, but it's never happened. So somebody bought something, bought something and said, you know what, I don't really want to buy it, I want to rent it. I thought, what in the world is this? And they left a message and I went on there. And I'm going to read you their message. I often joke about it because you put 30-day returns on a video game and they take the video game and play it for 30 days and then they ship the thing back. And it's like, well, they just rented that game and it didn't cost them a dime. But this time it's for real. This person bought something and said, you know what? I don't really want it, but I want you to do something with it. And I'm going to let you take a look at that. Had some cool sales, had something sell that's been selling on and off for a while that we're making really good profit on. I'm going to let you take a look at that. Had a couple of homeschool hustler store sales, one to a viewer. Of course, no Inaman sales. I do have a couple of Inaman announcements coming up. And head over to Instagram. I don't know if I've posted it yet. Probably have. But as part of our little celebration for 20,000 subscribers on Commonwealth Picker and 10,000 subscribers on Commonwealth Flipper, we're going to give away a hat on this channel. And we're going to probably do that tomorrow night. So if you're listening to this video, go back to the last video and go ahead and uh, listen to that one. And you'll figure out how to uh, put your comment in. And then tomorrow night's, not tomorrow night's, Thursday night's video, we'll give that thing away. And you can see if you won that. And that's from Matt at Part-Time Pickers. And want to thank him again for that. But head on over to Instagram and I'll be giving an Inaman away over there. We do have some more Inaman and I still have not listed the Misfit Inaman, and we're going to probably put those on CommonwealthPicker.com. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do it soon, I think. And then a few new items in CommonwealthPicker.com as well, and those are some surprises that we're going to be doing. Doing a little bit of raising money for Reagan and for gymnastics, and raising some money for a couple charities. So those are definitely coming up in the next few days, but I could talk forever, so let's take a look what's sold. Alright, here is one of those items that I keep telling you about, and I just list them slowly but surely. This one is... A Moss Life History. Moss Life History. And Turtox. And these seem to be selling okay. And I'm not quite sure why people are buying these or what they're buying them for. But I don't really care. <laughs> Some of them are really cool looking, especially the black ones. And they've been selling okay. This looks like the price point for this $30 plus shipping for the plain ones to sell at. Although, I might try and bump it up a little bit. I've sold a, some at $25 and then some at $30. Some of the black ones that are colorful, I have listed in the hundreds of dollars. And there's a bunch of watchers on it. But nobody's bit yet. So, we'll have to see how long it takes for that one. So, $30 plus shipping on that one. And then we'll ship it in one of the tubes. And I'll show it to you later. Had a Wii Sports Game sell. And this one, I think, went for $25.95 free shipping. Nope, I take it back. Went for $25 free shipping. So a lot of times I'll look at Wii's and they are they look like they're overpriced. People are asking $25 for a Wii and you're like, eh, I don't think I want to pay $25 for a Wii. Always double check for those of you who know what you're doing out there. You already know this, so I don't want to preach to the choir. But always check and make sure the games are in there. You know, there's sometimes games like this that aren't easily found because they're really small and they're tucked in. Sometimes they're in the game itself. And uh, just check and see, because, you know, it's nothing big to pay $25 for a Wii system with a couple of controllers and some games if this game's in it, or if you find a Mario Kart or something like that, because this recoups most of your money. So after this right here, I think I paid $25 for this. I might have paid $35 for this one. Had a Mario Kart and this one, and two controllers and one nunchuck. So I'm like, you know what, that's probably a pretty good deal end up selling this and then you end up paying 15 bucks for everything else you sell the other game or decide to bundle it all together and you make some pretty good money on that all right if you go way back to uh, last year watching commonwealth picker 
we had a gentleman, we call him Coin Boy. He's one of my colleagues at work. And uh, he's from Philly, or no, he's a Philly fan. And I don't remember exactly, New Jersey, I think. At any rate, he sells me things every once in a while. And this was one of those things. It is a trucker style Phillies New Era hat. And it was in great condition. And uh, put it up there, I think, for $18.95 plus shipping. And somebody bought it and then left this message. So I have to read it. Here's a viewer. So this is part of the deal. They wanted to rent this hat. All right, so here goes. When I took a screenshot of this thing, I cut off the very first part, so I apologize. So I'll start with therefore. I merely wish to rent this cap. If you proudly display it again for another two to three weeks. I think we had it up there for about a week or so. And at that point, you may relist it to sell. Perhaps I can convince you for a throw in here as a request. So here it is. Could you please tell your viewers that Michael Jack Schmidt was the best third baseman to play the game? I don't know if you want me just to say that, if you want me to agree with it. I will certainly say that, uh, in my opinion, he's top three. But I don't know if I'll, I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. So there's been a few good ones out there. And Brooks Robinson, for one. So at any rate, he certainly was one of the best. So, And if anybody can survive in, in Philly, in that market, for as long as he did and be successful, you got to give him some props. So here you go. I'm saying it. Michael Jack Schmidt was the best third baseman to play the game. Best of luck and thank you for your videos. I have used knowledge from you to guide my 19-year-old son to start reselling since my wife, his mother is immune compromised and a retail job for him is out of the question. Ah, makes sense. He's already scored big by sourcing a large collection of first generation Transformers. That's awesome. First generation is good. Magic cards from the 1990s and 20 box comic books collections. That's very good. That'll definitely keep him busy for a while. These will keep him busy for months cleaning, researching, listing, and shipping. I changed over my personal account to his name, happy underscore Gabe. So he could get a good start with some feedback already. Hey, that's really nice if you get your son going in the right direction. That's awesome. I got my little kid selling. My oldest boy helps out a lot, and I pay him for all the help he does. But he doesn't sell on his own. He used to a little bit, but he doesn't do that anymore. So here you go. Philly's hat. New era. We're going to put it right up here. I don't know if I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to put it right by my buddy. Is that all right? And I'm going to see if I can leave it there for a little while for you. There you go. Phillies. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick up a few things from the back really quick and show you one great sale up here. I've got some really high price sales here. One big one I'm going to show you and then a couple really, really small. And that's kind of how I do it. You know, if you have one big one and you're going to ship one thing out, you know, starting the process takes time. So I really like it when you can just throw in an extra sale or two, even if they're, you know, three, four dollar profits. Because it's really taking the time you would, you know, if I came down here and turned all the lights on, turned the computers on and on, that's taking time too. And to ship out one or two things, even if they're high profit items, I like to be able to ship out five or six small profit items as well. And it makes the whole process kind of worth it. So let's take a look. All right, let's start in the, looks like the lot of Josh drawer. And coach tags, there they are. And some vintage corn holders. And I paid virtually nothing for these. I want to say I paid a dollar for a whole bag full of corn holders. And these, they're pretty sharp. I better watch out. These sold for $4.50 plus shipping, and which is not much, obviously. But there's a whole another set in there. So we're making, you know, maybe $3 profit on those. And the rest will be pure profit. This came off a bag that I bought to sell for eBay. And then brought it home and realized it was damaged. I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want to even take a chance. Somebody's buying coach. They don't want to buy junk. And so I took the bag to the booth and it sold really quickly. We recouped our money on it. And then we sold these on eBay for $6.50 plus shipping. And I probably could have got seven, eight dollars for them if I would have waited. But you know, even a mistake buy turned into a profit because I took these tags off and sold them. I do that often with certain things. I'll take tags off of all kinds of things. Shoes, the old Jordan tags on the Nikes, all kinds of stuff like that. And I'll uh, sell them separate if there's something wrong with them. So be on the lookout for things you can uh, part out, even if they're not obvious parter outers. All right, since we are here, here's a Kodak. It's sold on Bonanza. And I believe it sold for $6, I think, free shipping. So not much at all. And this was just in a free box somewhere, and I grabbed it. And it's just a charger, I think, for a camera. And, you know, we'll make 250 or so on it, and that's about it. 
Now that we're over here, we have one more Bonanza sale. Let's take a look at this one. And I love picking up stuff like this. This is a handy adder. And it's nothing amazing, nothing special. But you know what? It sold for just under $10, $9.81. And it sold on Bonanza. So we had four Bonanza sales while we were gone on vacation, which is almost 50% of the sales I've had in like uh, four months on Bonanza. So nothing amazing here. And it says dollars, dimes, and cents. It doesn't even have quarters on it. So I don't know. There you go. Who the heck knows but we'll make you know right we'll make a little bit more than five dollars on that one right there all right so those obviously are not big sellers but i bought a few things i spent a hundred dollars you haven't seen this it was at the hundred mile garage sale and you'll see it coming up i negotiated forever with this lady and she was good i met my match she was good she wasn't budging and i finally got her to budge a little bit on some specific items trying to make a huge bundle deal for some Estee Lauder stuff. Like, I think I offered her $300, and she still said no. You'll see it in a video. But then I pulled the best ones out, and I think I offered her 100 and she took it. This one right here, I'll show it to you in a second, sold for $159.95, and puts us in the pure profit for the rest of the stuff I bought, and I probably bought 10 other things. All right, and I put it up here. It's all brand new. This is called Lucidity Loose Powder. I think this is the right one. And this sold for $159.95. The box isn't perfect, but it's still pretty darn good. And the contents are new. And I still wish, I just, I could not offer 400. I don't even think I had 400 cash at the time. I had, I was like halfway done with the 100 mile garage sale. So I had spent probably two or $300 already. So I offered her 300 and uh, she just wouldn't take it. I gave her my information though. And uh, unfortunately, she never called back. But $159.95 plus shipping. And I am, like I said, I'm into all this stuff for 100 bucks. And so this one puts us in the pure profit. And I'm not sure how many other ones I have, but at least six, I think. Different types. I think this is the only one, and this was the best one. But I have a couple that are going to sell for 100 So I think I'll turn that $100 into maybe $400 to $500, I hope. So we'll have to see about that. All right, we have, <laughs> we got all kinds of things going on here. All right, Turner, we have a Homeschool Hustler store sale. We sold some ornaments. Can you tell me who these guys are right here? Taz and Daffy. Taz and Daffy, and this one right here is Yosemite Sam. <laughs> I liked him. He was a good one. Oh, look at that cat right there. Pepper. <laughs> hey, they sold for $22 plus shipping out of your Homeschool Hustler store. And let me read this to you real quick. It says, hey, Kevin, I used to have these as a kid, and I loved them. Can't wait to hang them on the tree with my son, Logan. Thanks for all you do, and I love finding things in your store previous buyer, Christina. So she's bought something from y'all before. Are you guys getting excited about the holidays? What's coming up here really quick? Halloween is in six more days. And do you remember last year we went to the uh, old folks' home, and we visited with them, and we're not going to be able to do that this year, our little tradition, but that's okay, I guess. So... You guys are awesome. Reagan, can you tell me what sold out of your store, commopicker.com? Um, we sold some shirts and yep. from Jan, John, and Scott. Yep, Scott. Looks like Scott bought two, and you signed a card there, and we'll package those up. And John, no, is that Jan? Jan bought a sticker, uh, yeah. and John bought a t-shirt. And I think a couple of them left a message, and I'll read it. I probably will have already read it by now. I'm not sure. Or we'll read it in a minute when I go inside. All right, thank you all. You can help me package them up. Don't forget to say thank you. Thank you. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Bye. <laughs> I don't even have to remind y'all anymore. You guys are awesome. See you, Pepper. If you go way back to early spring, if you remember, I listed, I usually buy a bunch of vacuum cleaners in the whoever, you know, whenever. I buy a bunch of vacuum cleaners all the time. And then at one particular time, I'll take a whole day, maybe two, depending on how many I have, and I'll take them and I'll part them out. I'll test them. My boy usually tests them for me and then cleans them. And then I'll go through and maybe take some of the harder stuff and test it. Do a little extra cleaning on it. And I'll take the pictures and then I'll weigh them, measure them out, and try to get a pretty good idea of what the uh, dimensions are and everything when I put them in the list. And then they usually sell pretty quick. I put them at a price point where they'll sell. Because I've been storing them away for a while and I don't want to keep storing them. Well, everything's not going to sell. When you part things out, certain parts aren't going to go. 
Well, that's what happened here. So the rainbow machine that was parted out, I think I saw Lonnie had a rainbow the other day, <laughs> except for he, he do not part things out too much. He's going to sell that whole thing together. And that's fine, but there's a little bit more risk involved in selling a whole machine um, together where there's a little less risk when you're parting it out. There's usually a little bit more money, but a lot more work when you part it out. So at any rate, if there's ever an issue with it, I definitely part it out. So when in doubt, part it out. If there's no issue, sell it together, make your money in one sale. You only got to ship one thing. This hose went to a rainbow. It's like the, uh, I don't know what it's quite called, but uh, there's a like a a floor cleaner setting, you know, where it's got water and all that stuff. And that's what this thing is too. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it sold for 20 plus shipping, I think. Yep, for a minute there, I thought maybe 30 plus shipping. I think I listed it initially for 30 and eventually took it down because I want my bins to be empty before Christmas. And then once the spring hits, I fill them back up with new uh, vacuum cleaners. New meaning really old vacuum cleaners. All right, I haven't sold one of these Mary Kay lipstick cases these like uh i don't know what you want to call them beads pink and they're like mosaic almost beads and we're making it with this is all pure profit at this point they're not huge money makers but they're pretty darn good considering they're all pure profit at this point twelve dollars and 81 cents i can't remember how many we had i have to look up here but there was a bunch like 40 i think something like that and so we're gonna end up making some really good money on these did have one return early on but uh we've sold i think five now and only had that one return and it was a strange issue so i think these are good to go and we're making about 758 well these are all profit now we're making about eight dollars a piece on these right here there you go like clockwork pink coral today pink coral let me make sure i have the right one blue ridge mama grabbed this one for me so yep she grabbed the right one <laughs> i probably shouldn't double check on her she should be double checking on me twelve dollars free shipping pure profit all right, speaking of when in doubt, parted out, this one has been around for a long, long time. The Oster Kitchen Centers, I used to part those out all the time and make decent money on them, but there's always some parts that just never sell, and this is one of those. This is the, the, the cap, the nut to it. I guess you put the, the meat grinder part, the attachment on it. I think that's what it is anyways, and it doesn't go for much, but I have a hard time not listing the part that doesn't go for much because it's all pure profit at this point. So $5.81, and we'll probably, it's really hard, we'll probably put it in one of the padded envelopes. All right, it seems so odd not talking about an Enemand for the next 10 minutes. These videos are a lot shorter than they used to be, but we will put those Enemand back up, not these necessarily, you gotta keep some around, I just can't part with them, but we'll put the Misfit Enemand on CommonwealthPicker.com really, really soon and a few other items as well so thank y'all for joining us we hope you are uh, rolling along in q4 and your sales are going really really well and we can't wait to see you next time